getting fine and building booty things of that nature but i wanted to talk today kind of like of a self-esteem video um i get a lot of young women talking about you know why they're wanting to gain weight or i get messages talking about you know hey i want to gain weight because you know i've always been called a light pole or because i've always been called um what's the popeye's uh, wife name um Dang, what is her name? Um, olive oil, you know, and so I want to talk about how us loving ourselves and for me being a young woman, you know, early age, I ain't that young no more, but me being a young woman, early age, I've always thought that I wanted to gain weight so that people can stop talking about me, but becoming an adult, becoming a mom and just living life and just understanding exactly what, you know, I am to myself and then what others opinions mean to me, which is absolutely shit. No one's opinion of who I am and what I am means anything to me, um, except what it is that I feel. And I know I try to make sure that I'm, I'm trying to be the right Right person I try to make sure that I'm you know try to do the right things or whatever we're all a work in progress but the main thing is that when we are concerned about other people's feelings and their words and their feelings about us and their emotions about us or you know their thoughts about us that it jeopardizes what we are it jeopardizes who we are it jeopardizes what we're trying to do and the goals we're setting out so i get a lot of women talking about you know i want to gain weight because of this this and that and other and it's about a 50 50 where it's like some will be like well no i want to gain weight because you know i just want to fill out my clothes or you know i'm just tired of being this skinny where i look like a tone boy and things of that nature and that is great because that means that the weight that you're trying to gain or what you're trying to or even if this is for someone who's trying to lose weight as well or someone who you know wants bigger boobs or bigger booty or whatever all i'm saying here in this video is that if you're doing it to make sure that you're doing it only for yourself you're not doing it because you're trying to impress somebody and i show it hell hope ain't nobody trying to do it because they're trying to keep a man the way that you look is not going to keep a man which is the main reason which is why you're doing it for yourself so anything that you're trying to improve on your body you're working out you're getting your face pretty making sure your skin is clean by doing steams or going to spas or you know you're going to the gym and trying to work out or you know you just whatever you're trying to do you're getting your teeth whitened whatever it may be when you're doing it for yourself is going to automatically benefit other and allow others to be drawn more to you is because of the confidence and the self-esteem that you have for yourself when you're trying to change who you are what you look like and you're trying to do that for someone else it's automatically going to be a downfall it's automatically not going to work you'll go get that big old booty and that big old breast you know when you go have surgery and get you know like the i'm sorry and go get the lift you know or go get you know your boobies put in that it be the same man who you went and did it for be the one that leaves you for someone who has real boobs or a real booty and then you've done it all for nothing and now you're depressed because you know you did all of these changes and spent all this money for this man and then that man left you for someone who had it real but you know why it wasn't because mostly i'm not gonna say majority but some of that reason is not going to be because hers was real or you know yours was fake it's her confidence in who she is. It's something about this woman that is drawing this man to her outside of, the course, the physical attraction that he may have felt for her. But it's something else that drew him to her to pull her, pull him away from you. And this is the things that I want to talk about because a lot of us get it messed up where we're thinking that when we're doing these things, it's for someone else when it should be for ourselves. So for me, I've been 100 pounds my entire life, even with four kids. I've always still been 100 and 100, no more than 110 pounds. But after gaining the weight and me getting up to 40 pounds that I wanted, um, you know, at first I was like, you know, I'm just tired of being called skinny, duh, 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 duh. you know, and this is like maybe like five years ago, four or five years ago. And I was like, you know, I'm tired of being called skinny and things of that nature, um, you know, and and it was because I got tired of that but the dude who I was with at that time has always accepted me being little he never bothered you know was ever bothered that I was that little you know he thought I was the finest thing on earth which because of the confidence that I had in myself that it was never that him thinking that oh she's trying to gain weight for me or anything like that he loved who I was and what I looked like and I got him and had a baby bomb and everything because he loved who I was and what it was that I stood for and also the attraction of my confidence of being who I am and and he loved that about me and so for me 
I was doing it because I thought that it would also enhance that, but it was because of me. So not just him telling me that I'm fine. I want everybody to tell me that I'm fine. But again, it's the confidence that I feel within myself that I'm like, I look good. I feel good. I'm doing these things because I want my boobies to be, you know, this big and this way so that I can put on this outfit and I can go to the store and I can put on this bra and I can go to Victoria's Secret and I can be fooled out where I'm not a, you know, an A cup. You know what I'm saying? And it makes a difference in what you think and what you feel. And so when you're trying to do something for yourself, there's three things that I want to, you know, hit break points on, which is definitely first one. Do it for you. Do it for the love of what you're trying to enhance about yourself. But because it's already everything else that you love by, about yourself, you're just trying to enhance a few things and so it can make you feel even more better about yourself. Not of what anyone else's thoughts are about you. And one of the things that I tell my, 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 my women, because as far as me, when I was, you know, really small, whether I was a teenager, I was an adult, especially being a child, you're going to get teased. And, you know, you have, for me, when I worked at the hospital and I was a nurse, you know, I used to have women so I'm like, oh, you little bitty, you skinny. You know, and I got these big girls, you know what I'm saying, women who I should be looking up to who's trying to demean and degrade me because I'm skinny and I'm 18, 19 years old and I'm now, you know what I'm saying, in a nursing field. And instead of them uplifting me, they were trying to find fault in me. And then one day I was like, yeah, boo, but I can wear anything I want. I can go to the store and buy anything that I want and wear almost anything. Can you? I had to reverse that. It's because in my head, I'm like, you know, well, dang, because am I skinny? Like, am I not doing my job? Or, you know, you feeling some type of way about me or something like that? When no, it was them who had a problem with me because of who I was and still the confidence that I had. They tried to find some type of fault in me and me being skinny was all that they had because I was a good employee. I was kind and most people had good things to say except the one, what we call those? people haters who've been drinking all of that hater and hate all late life and that's what they're used to but that's okay which is the reason again we're not doing it for them it's for us because guess what it doesn't matter if you look good you got everything it is that you want and you look the way you need to they gonna find fault in you no matter what so when you're trying to go and do this and do this and do this for someone else because it's not just for you automatically they're going to find fault in you. And when you do it for yourself, it don't even matter what it is that they're thinking. You get what I'm saying? The second part of that too is when you're doing it for yourself, you're going to do it the healthy way. A lot of people want to gain weight and they want to be like, you know, oh, I'm going to eat McDonald's and Jack in the Box and blah, 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 and nothing wrong with those places. But you can't eat that type of food every day. You can't have fried chicken and fried pork chops every day and feel like, you know, oh, I'm gaining weight. Because now, because you're doubling, if not tripling the amount of food that you're eating, you're now getting a you don't have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and all other kind of problems of diabetes just because you're not eating right. Or if you're trying to lose weight, oh, I'm going to starve myself because I want to lose weight and I want to do this and do that. But now you're putting your health at risk is because you're not getting water, you're not getting nutrition, you know what I'm saying? You're about to fatigue, you're about to pass out because you're trying to lose this 10 pounds in 10 days. And again, it's not for you. And because you're doing it for someone else and you're trying to do it the dramatic way instead of the right way where there's going to be slow results, good results, healthy results, it's going to make a difference in how your body actually feels. It's going to make a difference in your health. It's going to make a difference in the reasons that you're doing it, which is for me and when you're doing it for me you like I'm gonna take the right approach I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing the right thing I'm gonna make sure that um, I'm eating the right things or you want to go get a boob done whatever you could have put this on your credit and you know what I'm saying for $7,500 to go get your boobs done or whatever and your car note three months behind you know what I'm saying and again because you're doing it for someone else instead of you taking an approach no I want to do this for myself and I'm going to deserve it so every time I get paid I'm going to put $300 up in a month every month and so by the, within the next year and year and a half I have my $7,000 so that I can go and get what I want for me it's just a healthy approach is going to give you when you're doing it for me you're going to think it out when we are doing stuff for everybody else or when we're trying to be dramatic about something we don't plan accordingly and it messes up what we're trying to do really for ourselves because at the end of the day it's not for us it's for somebody else and it's going to put it's going to put again what you're trying to do in jeopardy the third thing with that is too we're not doing this to get them to keep a man, okay? Now, I tell my women all the time, <laughs> oh, girl, you got fine. Oh, girl, you got that booty. Oh, girl, get that boy from paying them bills now. And a whole lot of them be ready to pay your bills. But it's, a, it, it's, a, it's real, but it's a joke. It's real because when you fine, I ain't gonna lie. 
It be some extra, you know, fun out here in these streets. It be some funners out here, okay? Compared to when you little or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You be over like the first one walking up in and then everybody like, who's that? Okay, so there's a, you know, again, but that's a feel good moment. It has nothing to do with being low self esteem It feels good when you walk in a room and everybody get at your attention. You getting everybody's attention. You like, oh, hello. Hey, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But again, it's not just the way that you look. It's this confidence that you have. It's this brightness that this you have. It's this, this boss babe type of situation that you have about yourself. And it does make a difference. So when you're trying to do this for your man and you're trying to do it because you're trying to hold on to something, he was never meant to be held on in the first place. If any man is downgrading you and trying to tell you that, you know, hey, oh, you got of this or whatever, or your man always eyes wandering on some other woman or whatever, you know, it's one thing when his eyes wander, but it's another thing if you know on a cool, he really probably doing something too that he don't really have any business doing. And again, and it puts us into a dampened mood because we're now depressed. We're now feeling some type of way like we're not enough. And when you're doing it for you, it's always enough. When you're doing it for somebody else, it's going to never be enough and there's no need to be able to hold on to something that don't want you love is not that hard where it's an effort that i'm trying to hold on to you you if i gotta hold on to you you're not mine but if we got this arm clock together and we're doing it together oh come on boo it doesn't matter if i'm 100 pounds 150 pounds or 250 pounds it's because you appreciate me for who i am and what it is that we're doing but when we're doing it for everything and everybody else. So I want my babes to be like, no, this ain't about no, this is nothing about nobody. This is all about me. This is about what it is that I want and what it is that I want to do. So you want to go spend that seven G's to go get them, them boobs done? You want to go spend that 10 G's to go get that booty done? That's all good and all. But make sure it is for you. It is not for anyone else. There's going to be this sense of confidence, this sense of love, this sense of everything. Like, not that I just went and got it, but I did it for me. And it's going to make you feel like blessed and highly favored. Okay? So that was my real quick video. Just real, real quick about love on yourself. Appreciate yourself. Enhance if that's what you want to do. But enhance only for you. Nobody else. It's going to make a difference in your life. I swear it does. I, I promise because I know what that tomboyish look was back then or whatever. Didn't matter what confidence it is that I had, but I wanted more just for myself. And I love who I was then. And I love even more of me now is because I've learned so much about myself is accepting me for who I am and knowing that I'm not going to make anybody happy just because of their thoughts or whatever going on. My happiness matters before anybody else. Cause if I'm not, if I'm not happy, everybody else going to get it too. So she got to be happy. You got to be happy first. And I swear to God, everything else is going to fall in place when you put yourself first. So I'll see y'all on the next video.